Welkom bij de Q&A voor REC met uh, Gome uh, Balaguero en uh, Manuela Velasco. Talk a little, little bit about this innovative camera perspective that we've been seeing uh, quite a few times in the last year, actually, in the last couple of years. Uh, this first-person shooter technique whereby uh, the camera is actually a part of the story. How did it come about uh, in your case for this movie? Je parle français Non. Comme vous voulez. C'est bien si je parle en français Ok. <rire> euh, quand quand, quand euh, Paco Plaza, le co-réalisateur et moi, on a décidé d'essayer de faire un film, euh, de raconter une histoire d'horreur, mais avec les langages de la télévision, euh, de, du direct télévisuel, euh, Cloverfield, euh, Diary of the Dead, n'existait pas. Et c'est finalement quand on a fini le film et on l'a montré à, à Venise et qu'on a entendu parler, il y avait d'autres films avec le même euh, style de raconter et c'était très choquant pour, pour nous. Je crois que euh, pour, euh, par rapport au REC, on a décidé de faire ça, de faire comme ça parce que c'était euh, peut-être euh, la façon on voulait essayer de faire un film plus proche aux, aux spectateurs et pour qu'ils qu'ils puissent euh, se sentir dans le film euh, et l'expérimenter plutôt que le voir euh, assis dans, dans, dans le théâtre. Non on voulait faire quelque chose de plus proche à une expérience. Et on avait pensé au vidéojeu, euh, la façon euh, d'interaction entre le, le joueur et l'histoire. Et on a euh, pensé évidemment à des, à des films précédents, pas seulement The Blair Witch Project, mais aussi à Cannibal Holocaust, La mort en direct de Bertrand de Bernier, C'est arrivé près de chez vous, c'est un film belge qu'on aime beaucoup. Et, et aussi, euh, on s'est inspiré surtout euh, par la télévision, euh, par le, les programmes de télé-réalité euh, qu'on voit toujours dans la télé, et, et aussi euh, par des... Euh, programme comme euh, COPS, je ne sais pas si vous connaissez ce programme. Et alors on a, on a décidé d'essayer. De, mais finalement, c'est trop long, mais je vais finir maintenant. Et, mais finalement, euh, je crois qu'il y a cette euh, abondance, c'est beaucoup de films qui sortent en même temps et, et qui utilisent le même euh, style. Peut-être parce qu'il euh, y a quelque chose qui, qui, qui change maintenant, il y a quelque chose qui se passe euh, au, au milieu du média, et avec euh, Internet, avec euh, l'interaction entre le, le public et les, et les films, et les YouTube, et, et tout ça. Et alors le cinéma euh, commence à répondre à tous ces phénomènes. Moet daar een Nederlandse vertaling van zijn? Voor iemand? Um, do you think it's more difficult or easier to film to make a film like that with uh, like a hand cam? And also, does it re require a different uh, technique? Does it require another way of acting, or are, are you just acting like you would for a normal film, which would be made with a steady cam? Um, no, because in this film we had very long uh, sh shoots like 20 minutes so it's more like theater acting you have to it's not like a normal movie where you have small parts and then you, you do your line and then you go to the to your partner and then here we had all of us to be acting at the same time during 20 minutes and we couldn't cut even though uh, if we got hurt and we had problems and we, <laughs> We couldn't cut, we had to continue, and we used a lot of impro Im I I improv improvisation. Uh, so we had a small script, the basic lines, the basic things. So you could so, improvise a lot. Yeah, we improvised all the time. And <laughs> they didn't tell us everything that was going to happen. So we had a lot of surprises during the shooting. And uh, sometimes they told us things that were, were going to happen that never happened. And <laughs> on the contrary, something else happened. So it was crazy. And, and do you think it was easier to make a film like this? Or is it just way different and is it really difficult to compare? 
I think it's uh, definitely uh, more difficult. Uh, at the beginning, we thought uh, it could be easy, but uh, the reality is uh, REC is uh, our m most uh, simple uh, movie for the audience. Uh, it seems simple, but uh, in fact, I think it's uh, the most sophisticated and complex film uh, I've done ever. Uh, and because uh, these long shots, because the special effects, you know, for example, the special effects, uh, when you have to shoot in a special effect, uh, you uh, put the camera, uh, depending on the special effect, you put the lights, depending on that special effect. Uh, but uh, here uh, in REC, uh, special effect uh, appeared, appeared in, in the middle of a shot uh, of uh, 20 minutes. And it was uh, uh, it had it had to be ready for this point, and it was very difficult. It was a totally different way to prepare the special effect and to did the special uh, to do the special effect, for example. If you're acting on your in a movie where they have special effects but they don't tell you that they're going to have special effects, don't you sometimes get scared as much as the audience is supposed to? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I got really really scared, especially because I didn't know how the, uh, the film ended. I thought I was going to survive. I, wh what I read, what they gave me, is that I, I could uh, go out the building. Uh, and one, one day, uh, I was shooting one scene that was on the script, where I, I was uh, upstairs, and I had to go all the way down and go out to the street. And I was supposed to go out and be alive, and... and <laughs> It was with night shot, and uh, we, sh we shot this film uh, during the night, so we didn't have any natural light neither, so there was no light at all, and I couldn't see anything. I just could see through the camera, and I, I was going down the stairs, <laughs> and all of a sudden one of these in infected people came to me, and she bite me, so I just realized in that moment that I was dead, and uh, I didn't know it. <laughs> And they were doing things like that to me all the time, things that were not in the script. So I got really scared because sometimes uh, I didn't know what was going to happen. And uh, sometimes some actors or people came to the, to the set and they wouldn't let me see them. And I, I knew there was someone hidden and I just was asking all the time, but uh, are they going to hurt me? Are they going to bite me? What, what? <laughs> It was difficult because with no light and all these uh, surprising things, yeah, at times I got really scared, especially with the night shot. These days it's fairly common to make uh, films where there's a strong heroine, a strong female character. Oftentimes I think that they try to push it too much. The, the directors try to push the strong side too much and it isn't believable anymore. Here you go through an entire scala of emotions, from the most beautiful smile to, to fear. Um, was it fun to do? Was it like a, a challenge to do? And also, was it something you wanted? And was it difficult to find an actress who, was able, who would be able to do all of those things? Um, what I like about the film is that the Angela is not a heroine at all. She can't manage this, handle the situation. She's shocked and she doesn't know what to do. And she's hysterical and she just tries to survive and to run away. And she's not a fighter. She's not uh, strong. She... So for me, uh, the, the other part of the question, it was uh, really um, amazing. I had a lot of fun during the shooting because the, f the first part, I really like to, to play with this part of the character that is a bit pushy and stupid. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I have the feeling that the audience during the film uh, wants her to die because she's not nice, she's not a heroine, she's, some, she's someone like... I don't know, you don't know if you like her or you hate her. 